Searching for answers, the Howard County community is mourning tonight after a 16 year old is shot and killed in her bedroom. Police say the girl's mother was also shot before the suspect, a 15 year old boy, turned the gun on himself. WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett is outside shock trauma where the teen suspect is in critical condition. Ava Joy. Vic, good evening. That teen holds answers to questions police are still trying to answer right now. In the meantime, we are learning more about Charlotte, including the fact she was a martial arts student. At just 16 years old, Charlotte Zaramba, a Howard High student, was starting to embrace her passions. WJZ has learned she also took martial arts classes. Everybody's devastated. Charlotte's instructor, who said she was quiet but confident, can't believe she's gone. It was, um, just uh, surreal. Police say around two New Year's morning, Susan Zaramba approached her daughter's room after hearing noises, but she was confronted by the 15 year old suspect who shot her and Charlotte. Police say he then shot himself. Susan Zaramba was somehow able to call 911 for help. 4817 Old Glen Road, call advising her 16 year old daughter has been shot. She's doing CPR at this time. On their first day back to school, students were black in honor of the 16 year old. Crisis team members were also present for the entire day. People are like really sad. Like the mood is just like really like low. And people are just like, it's really sad. It's just like people aren't able. I don't even know what to say. Inside Charlotte's martial arts gym, there was disbelief such a tragedy could have hit so close to home. And for Charlotte's instructor, he keeps asking himself, what if? It's extremely upsetting, especially as a self-defense instructor. I've, there's, for me personally, I've, I've kind of gone back and forth with some guilt. And it's like, what should I have taught her? The teen is here at shock trauma and critical condition. Police have not released his identity. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. Police still are investigating a motive in this case.